Hey everybody, um, I wanted to hop on and talk about how to use essential oils. So, as most of you know, we've been using essential oils for a number of years. It's been about eight and a half years. We um, started using them actually when our fifth child, so my name's Amanda, if you don't know me. Um, we have eight kids, number nine on the way, and um, I grew up in a pretty natural household. We didn't go to the doctor a lot. I mean, the doctor that I remember growing up at, with as a kid was actually a chiropractor. And um, we just, we use a little bit of homeopathy. We use a lot of vitamins, things like that. And I come from a family of seven, so I think we did pretty good as far as health-wise. Um, but then when I had to make some of those decisions myself and start kind of diving into the world of natural options, um, it got a little bit harder for me to know what was what was right and what was you know um, not necessarily wrong but do you believe everything the doctors tell you or not and so um, we have start, I started having kids my husband and I and um, I call our first kid our guinea pie, <laughs> guinea pig child because um, we just kind of did what we thought we should do and didn't necessarily do all the research and so for us it was a learning experience and so then by the time we had baby number two um, some things just weren't feeling right and then by the time baby number three came along we had decided that we were going to um, oopsie, try for some try some more natural things and so um, when we had baby number four we decided that we were going to start using homeopathy. A lot of people get homeopathy confused for natural remedy, like natural things. Homeopathy is actually like there's vitamins, there's herbs, there's homeopathy, and there's oil. So it's one of the different reams of things, and I started studying that a lot. So when I got pregnant with baby number five, baby number five actually was helped with homeopathy. Um, if you're not new or if you're new to homeopathy, I highly recommend you check out Homeopathy for Mommies because she has amazing information. She's a mom of uh, 11 kids and she studied homeopathy for a number of years and so she's a wealth of information. So homeopathyformommies.com if you're new to it. Um, and then when I had baby number five, I was invited to an essential oils class and I'm very fortunate that the oils class I was invited to was a Young Living Oils because one of the reasons we chose to go with Young Living is because not all oils are created equally. That's one thing I like to tell people right away is that there's no rating system for essential oils. So you can get, they can say 100% pure therapeutic grade, all the great stuff on the bottle, and they only actually have to have 5% of that be essential oil and 95% can be whatever they want to put in it. And so when you learn certain things about things like um, frankincense, frankincense is from another country. It's a sacred tree over in the Middle East, and it takes a lot to harvest that. Um, these trees need to be 30 years old. And so when you see a bottle of frankincense at the store for $5, I can guarantee you that that is not pure frankincense oil. So frankincense is very valuable. It's something that I use every single day. I love frankincense, but once again, not all oils are created equally. So... Uh, Young Living's been around for 25 years. They kind of paved the way. Um, Gary Young went and found the best ways to get the best benefit, whether it was like first distillation, second distillation, all that jazz. I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to bore you with those facts. Some people love it. Go ahead, read a book on it. <laughs> but for me, I just know that we have what they call seed to seal, meaning that our Young Living controls the process from the moment those seeds are um, purchased till the moment the bottle is sealed, everything is in that seed to seal guarantee that everything is going to be pure, therapeutic grade, and there's not going to be any extra chemical yuck or any junk like that. So um, when you get a bottle of frankincense from Young Living, there's going to be a price difference, but you are getting exactly what you pay for. Frankincense, again, very valuable oil that I wouldn't go without. What I really love about Young Living is we don't buy our oils from other companies. Like we can, like I said, we control the process from the beginning to the end. So everything that happens with the oils, either they are from our personal farms that we own the land or they're from a partner farm. So we've gone to places um, in Hawaii where we get our Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood. It was actually a family farm that was uh, struggling, but they were 
organic like they hadn't sprayed their fields that is one thing that goes above and beyond organic my husband being an organic dairy farm you only have to um you can't spray for like seven years not only but seven years you can't spray your fields with young living it's a 50 year so they do not spray any chemicals on their fields for 50 years that's a that's a big deal especially if you know anything about farming it's easy to come have somebody spray your fields and get rid of weeds um, so they do a lot of old-time farming Anyway, um, when we partner with a farm, they have to adhere to the seed to seal standard, meaning they have to meet all the rigorous testing and the qualifications in order to be a partner farm. And so not only did we help that farm out by partnering with them, um, we, we allowed them to keep their family farm, but now we have a very valuable oil again that we're able to, you know, get from that farm. So in my opinion, very cool things. Um, when you get started, with um, essential oils, there is a lot of information to learn, but it's really, really simple. Um, you can dive really, really deep into it, but typically there's three ways that you're gonna use essential oils. You're gonna use them aromatically, which means just smelling them out of the bottle. Um, a lot of times if I'm having a stressful day, I'll put a drop in my hand and just cup it over my mouth and smell it. And one of the most popular ways is to diffuse your oils. So this is the diffuser that most people get with their starter kit. There's a few other options, but I love this one because it's beautiful, but it's plastic. So if you have kids, not guaranteeing they can't break it, but there's a little a lesser chance that they're going to break it. It has 10 color options. It runs for 10 hours. Um, has a candle flicker setting. Once you start to learn about things and fragrances, candles are one of the first things typically people oust out of their house. So this is using it aromatically, smelling it in, getting it that way. Um, another way to use it is topically, so you can apply it to the area of discomfort. So if you slept wrong and your shoulder is bothering, you can apply the oil you know, right on the shoulder. If you've got some uh, an upset tummy, you can apply the oil directly to your tummy. Um, when using them topically, if you are new to oils or if you're using them on a baby or maybe somebody who's elderly, I always like to start on the bottoms of our feet because our feet have our VitaFlex points. And the VitaFlex chart looks something like this. And so all of the systems, systems of our body are found on the bottoms of our feet. So when you don't know where to put it and it's 2 a.m. and the baby's crying, just slather that right on their feet because it'll get to whatever system it needs to get to. Um, so I like to tell people starting on the bottoms of your feet. And if you have somebody who has like a little bit more sensitive skin, the bottoms of our feet have a tougher skin. So it's nice because if there is a sensitivity, typically there's not one when it goes on the bottoms of the feet. So topically is your second way. And the third way is internally. And this is where Young Living has gone above and beyond most other companies because we have what we call, sorry if the camera shakes, our vitality line. So our vitality line are white labels and um, this is labeling them with the FDA compliance or whatnot that you can take them safely internally. And that is where um, when I talk to people about taking oils internally, you, be you best know what's going in your body because if that oil is an oil from some place that they maybe use chemicals on the field or they used a chemical extender to extract more oil, you are going to um, have chemicals in your oils. And oils work amazing. They go very quickly to where they need to in the body, like 26 seconds. But if they have chemicals with them, those chemicals go into your body in 26 seconds as well. So it is kind of a double-edged sword. So you wanna make sure what you're using is quality essential oils. And so um, a lot of people will put it, like I like to put lemon in my water. Um, I like to take veggie capsules and fill them. So there's just certain things like if I have a digestive issue going on, if I'm looking for a little extra immune support um, and I don't wanna be rubbing oils on all day or whatnot, I can just grab a empty vegetable capsule and I can put drops of oils in there and take it internally. So it kind of depends upon what you'd be using it for, but it's nice to know that they're safe to take internal. The other thing I like about them is that I like to tell people about frequencies. So everything has a frequency. Your body, the organs in your body, trees outside, everything has frequencies and runs at frequencies. Well, the nice thing is like, when you're talking about a banana, it has like a frequency of 15. And you're talking about herbs, it has a frequency of like 22. Well, when you use an herb like black pepper oil, which is one of my favorite oils to use um, in cooking, 
you are getting a higher frequency. And the more we raise our frequency, the less disease and things like that can set in. So, and it's also nice because it's almost a little bit fresher. So we'll use lemon in our chicken. We use black pepper on our popcorn or in our meatballs or in our meat sauces. Um, we use tangerine on our grapes. We love orange in our water. Um, we'll make homemade lemonade with the lemon um, essential oil. We use basil and thyme. Um, I will forewarn you that the str some of the um, oils are a little bit more potent. And so uh, there was one time I made a rosemary roast and I'm used to herbs, like dried herbs, so you just shook it on, right? So I shook on the oil. One or two drops goes a really long way. Six to eight drops goes a really, really long way. And so the whole house smelled like rosemary and um, the roast didn't taste like a roast anymore. It tastes like rosemary. So um, start with one drop, go slow when you're using them, but you can use them to cook. So that's another, another fun fact. I mean, we've put them in frosting. Like when we make pumpkin bars and cookies and stuff, we put this in there. It's amazing. Cinnamon, clove, all of them are delicious. And even had somebody make thieves frosting. Talk about immune support and a delicious frosting all in the same thing. Loved it. Um, so when most people get started, they get a premium starter kit. The premium starter kit is going to come with your diffuser because this is one of the simplest ways to start um, taking like the plugins out of your home and the air fresheners out of your home. And it's a very gentle way to get people in your home on board with using oils without like pouring them on top of them. So you can just set this up, put a little bit of water, a couple drops of essential oil in there and turn it on. And they're getting the, the therapeutic grade essential oils or smelling them in. So whether you're trying to boost immune system, make people happy, whatever it is, calm people down, get a restful night's sleep. All of those things are easy to do with a diffuser. So a diffuser is a great way to start. Um, then you get 12 essential oils. And so the reason they pick these 12 oils is because they are the most versatile oils. Um, they're kind of like your first aid kit. They're the ones you're going to want to have on hand when push comes to shove. And so I'm going to run through these oils and how to use them. The other thing with aromatic use is that you can use them in a lot of ways. And we're going to go through a couple of them that are really good for stress and emotions. And when we're dealing with emotions and we're dealing with aromatic, we're dealing with the limbic system of our brain. And so that is another reason pure therapeutic essential oils is so important. But we're going to start with our digis. Now this is not exactly my favorite smelling oil, but this is amazing for your digestive system. The cool thing with Digize is that you can, again, it's a vitality oil, so you can put it in water, you can put it um, in a veggie capsule, but for people that have digestive issues, it is huge. When you have digestive issues, you don't wanna be out in public, you don't wanna see people because you don't know what's going on or when you're gonna need a bathroom. And this oil has been a game changer for a ton of people. Um, some people call it the poop oil. When people can't go to the bathroom, this is an oil that's a biggie. If you have like chronic issues, this is something you're gonna probably have to use more than once. But you can apply it directly to your stomach. If you apply it clockwise, it helps things get going. If you are having too much going on, you can do it counterclockwise and it'll help stop up that process. Um, I always like to put it on the bottoms of the feet, but if it's coming out this end, this is also a good oil. The cool thing with Digize is it actually has the DNA blueprint of the enzymes our body and our gut need to break down food. So it works in a way as an enzyme in your body, how it helps your digestive system work. So Digize is good for all things digestive. When the stomach bug comes around, this is an oil you're going to want to have on hand. The next one is lavender, and when in doubt, use lavender. This is kind of like the coconut oil of essential oils. When you don't know what else to grab for, you grab for lavender. This is gonna be really good for after being in the sun for a long time, um, any kind of cut, scrapes, bruises, bumps. Um, this is one that my, how old is she, eight-year-old, she gets a nervous tummy a lot. Um, if she's gonna go do something new, her stomach will like start to churn. She grabs for lavender because it calms her muscles and her stomach down, and just smelling the oil actually helps her to calm down. So lavender in general is calming. This is really good for a restful night's sleep. It is not going to put you to sleep. This is not a sleeping pill. But what it does is it calms you down to the point where your brain can maybe like relax a little bit and you can get more rest at night. So like I said, this is a great, if you don't know um, what oil to use, I always say when in doubt, typically you grab lavender. Um, and again, like I said, cut scrapes, anything like that. Maybe it's just me because I have a lot of kids, but I feel like anytime we go anywhere, somebody falls. And so lavender is a good one to 
to have on hand. Um, lemon is another one I had talked about earlier. This is one I love to put in our water. A, because it helps to gently detox the body. And we, uh, we can only control what we allow into our homes. We can't necessarily control what uh, other people have around us or when we're out in public. So lemon is a nice way to detox the body, but especially now with it being summer and pool season, lemon is a gentle way to detox your body by putting it on the bottoms of your feet. Um, if you're going to pools and in chlorine a lot, this is going to help pull those the chlorine and toxins that you're being exposed to gently from the body. It's also really good for circulation, um, so you can apply it that way. I will tell you right now that anything that has citrus in it can be photosensitive. So if you've seen something on Facebook where it says somebody used an essential oil and burnt their body, yeah, there was a lady who apparently lathered up in some essential oil, I don't know what company it was, and went in a tanning bed. Um, I've put things like Citrus Fresh on just because it's kind of cooling and it smells really good. It's got the citrus and the spearmint in it. And I've been in the sun. I don't burn easy and it's not been an issue for me. But that's something you want to make note of is that essential oils are photosensitive. So if you're going, or not all of them, but citrus oils like your lemon, your orange, your tangerine, your grapefruit, your bergamot, um, and ones that like the Citrus Fresh blend that contains a few of them. If you burn easily, don't lather it all over your face and stand in the sun. Put it on the bottoms of your feet or smell it out of the bottle if you're going to be in the sun. Here in the winter region, you don't necessarily have to worry about that most of the year, but it's something to be aware of. Thieves is the next oil that you get in the starter kit. And Thieves is amazing because it it's good for everything. It smells really good. It kind of smells like Christmas. It has a lemon, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary in it. So it smells really good. So typically when our house is closed up in the summer months or in the winter months, I like to diffuse Thieves because it just keeps the Petri dish with having 10 of us here. Somebody's bound to be sneezing or something. And so this one kind of helps keep that at bay, like keeps it calmed down so we don't have things. I did daycare for a number of years and this is what I diffused all the time. So Thieves is really supportive of your immune system. Um, you can put it on the bottoms of your feet every day. That's We like to put it in a roll-on and roll it on the kids' feet just to keep their immune system at bay. Um, it's also really good in a wellness tea. Um, it is a little intense because it has the cinnamon and clove in it, but it works really good. If you're starting to feel like an itchy, scratchy throat, I just warm up water with some honey, put a drop of thieves and lemon in there. Super soothing and super supportive of your immune system. Um, but like I said, diffusing it. When you get your starter kit, you um, can actually use it. We use Thieves Cleaner to clean our entire house, our toilets, our counters, our mirrors, our walls. Um, if somebody gets sick, I actually just spray the air with it. I make a mattress cleaner with it, so when I do the sheets, I spray down the beds with it. Just, you know, any kind of funk growing on there, you, you want to get rid of that. Um, and the next thing is peppermint. So peppermint has been my best friend. Being pregnant in the summer and we don't have central air, we actually did have to break down and put um, air conditioner, window air conditioners in because it was so hot. But um, even being out in Salt Lake City last week, sorry, um, I, it was warm. And so one thing that I love to do with peppermint is it helps keep your body temperature. So whether you add it to your water and drink it, it's gonna help keep your body temperature down or I like to just stick it on the back of my neck um, or down my spine and when, it, when I really need it, I'll take a drop and put it right under my armpits and it brings your body temperature down. So if it's just because it's hot, you're gonna go for a walk, you're gonna work in the garden, mow the lawn, this is a great oil to put on. But if you're not feeling well, this is also a great oil to put on to help bring down your body temperature. A lot of people will use peppermint with lemon and uh, lavender together. That is, Those three work really good for seasonal issues. I know somebody um, who didn't have their EpiPen on them and they um, put lavender right into their mouth because it's a Vitality oil, it's too, super safe to do that, but they didn't have any other options at that point and lavender was really good as a um, for, for things like that, um, for seasonal issues or discomforts. Um, and then there's Raven, and Raven I love. So this has like the little Loctite lid because it has wintergreen in it. And wintergreen has the natural effects of um, the same thing in Tylenol. I can't think of it. But wintergreen naturally has the active ingredient in Tylenol. I can't think of what it's called. Acetaminophen. There you go. And so um, they have to put the child safety lock on there. So it's really good for kind of like the pain and stuff like that. But 
Raven is a combination of oils that is really good for respiratory um, relief. So this is one um, when the seasons change and the sniffles come around, I like to diffuse Raven in the kids' room because if I start hearing them like, you know, sniffling or coughing, this is the one I use. I also grab your solid coconut oil, works really well, and put a few drops in there and make a chest rub. Um, I know growing up we used to use like a Vicks chest rub that has lots of petrochemicals in it and things like that. So this is a safer option for you to grab like Raven. Um, there's also RC, but Raven comes in here and Raven's all things respiratory. This one, if the lemon, lavender, and peppermint don't work for your seasonal issues, some people use Raven in it. And all of them you can apply like right under the nose or the bottoms of the feet to help with your sinus congestion and things like that. Citrus Fresh. This also comes in a Vitality Oil, so it's one we can add to our water and things like that. Um, but I love Citrus Fresh for odors. Um, this one helps eliminate odor, so it's a good one to put in like the bottoms of your diaper pail, your trash uh, pail. Um, if you want your house to smell like you cleaned and didn't have time to clean it, diffuse it, man. It works. Uh, I love diffusing this one in the bathrooms just because, especially when you have guests over and you don't want your, you know, bathroom to stink. Um, but I also like to use it on dryer balls. Put a couple drops on your dryer balls and it freshens your laundry. Um, I've never been huge on dryer sheets, but for a while there I liked to have dryer sheets, but dryer sheets are one of the most toxic things in your home. So I actually don't have them sitting right here, but they have seedlings wipes. They smell amazing and I just keep a thing of seedlings wipes in our laundry because I love the smell of them and you just throw one uh, wipe in your load of laundry and it helps with the static and it makes your laundry smell good and fresh. But Citrus Fresh works for that as well. So if you're cooking bacon or tacos or something that smells fish, um, diffusing Citrus Fresh is going to help. You can also make like a room spray with it or a carpet deodorizer with baking soda. All of them work great. But Citrus Fresh is kind of your odor, whoa, sorry, eliminator. Um, Valor is the next oil. So we, I'm huge into emotional release with essential oils because I have seen the amazing things that the amazing things that it can do. Sometimes emotions are great, but when we hold on to them or don't know how to properly work through them, they can be very detrimental. And the thing with emotions is that they can actually be inherited. So if um, your parent or grandparent went through something, it can affect them to a DNA level. And so those emotions can be passed on generation to generation. Kind of scary, but true. And that's where you'll see things like um, anxiety or depression. And you see it kind of affects an entire family because um, because those emotions have affected them so deeply that they don't know how to release them. And so <clears throat> uh, one of the stories I like to tell a lot is about a little boy who is eight months old and he had this horrible rash on his cheeks. And I mean like totally natural, couldn't figure out. He developed this rash right around two months old and he would get so bad that he would like scratch his cheeks to the point where they would bleed, but they were always super red, inflamed, and they had tried tons of natural things, homeopathy, cream, salves, you name it, um, and couldn't figure it out. So I was at um, a vendor thing and I scanned him and he scanned for Sacred Mountain, which is a huge emotional oil. And so I kind of asked his mom, like, did something happen? When did this start? She said, oh, right around two months. I'm like, did he fall? Did he have something happen? And she's like, no, no, she couldn't think of anything. And then she's like, oh, actually, that was right around when he had his tongue and lip tie revision. So he had a 360 where they laser all the way around your mouth. And I guess when they do that, you're required to go ahead and sweep their mouth every three to four hours so that the skin doesn't re-adhere and they would have to redo it. And she goes, yeah, it got so bad that when I would walk across the room, he would start to cry because it hurt to have her do that. And she never correlated the two because it didn't, wasn't like he had this done and then it developed a rash. It was a couple weeks, but it was that fear and that emotion that this baby held on to. And so I told her that she should take Sacred Mountain and she should put it on herself. And first of all, as a mom, mom guilt big time, um, you need to forgive yourself for doing it because it was something you needed to do. It wasn't something you could avoid. This is something he needed to have done. So you, you know, forgive yourself for it. But then when you're, you know, I just said, when you're nursing him, when you're rocking him, when you're feeding him a bottle, um, anything like that, all he, babies are super easy. So this isn't always how it works for adults, but they just need to know that they're safe and that they're loved and they're going to be taken care of. And so she did that. And that was Saturday. 
And Thursday, she sent me a picture, and his cheeks were completely cleared. It was amazing. Um, because he just held on to that emotion. He didn't know how to let it go. And so that's the reason I talk about that is because Valor is very close to Sacred Mountain, but it is the number one, like it's the emotional primer. Not only is it really good for spinal alignment, so if you go to the chiropractor, this is a great oil to grab before and after an adjustment, but it is all over body alignment. And so um, when you're dealing with something emotional or you have somebody going through something emotional, Valor is actually like the primer oil that's going to help you to process emotions in a better way. So Valor is good for that, and it's also really good for confidence. Um, so when you have kids going off to school and you um, they're, they're nervous, or you have a job interview, or you're doing something new and different and are unsure, you're flying for the first time, whatever, this is going to be your confidence oil because, again, it opens you up, um, or I shouldn't say opens you up, but it helps you to align all of your emotions, all of your energy so that you have a clearer picture. Um, it's also great for sleep. Um, I always like to tell people, if you want to sleep like you're dead without the commitment, this is what you need to use. Um, it also helps for husbands or wives or whatever that snore. I could put a couple drops on their big toe and it helps to open up their nasal passage. But we actually, my husband keeps a big bottle of it next to his side of the bed because of harvest season. He's working in the tractors a lot. He puts a couple of drops, two, three drops in the diffuser and he's like, he's been sleeping so sound at night. So I always like to tell people, sleep like you're dead without the commitment. I did have one little girl who used the oil and her mom was like, oh, I'm so excited to use it for sleep. And she said she put it in the diffuser that night. She had the courage. She was very brave and very courageous to tell mom no. <laughs> so uh, there are double sides to some of these things. Uh, everybody they say is a snowflake. So what, how it works for one person doesn't mean it's going to work necessarily the exact same way for the next person. Um, the next oil is frankincense. And this one is like the must have in my opinion. First of all, it's amazing for anything skin related. Um, it's good for any kind of skin tags, things like moles, um, but it really is grounding. And so um, when I'm having one of those days where I'm feeling completely frazzled, I grab a drop of frankincense. I actually use it in my fume. A fume is just like, has like a little cotton wick where you can breathe in deeply with it. So it's an aromatic way of using it. But if I'm just feeling like I cannot, the kids are driving me crazy and whatnot, I take a mommy time out and I grab my frankincense and I breathe it in deep. Um, this is also one I apply. It's super gentle. So when the last three babies have been born, we've, um, there are oily babies because we've used essential oils from the time they were born. And um, I actually bless the, the top of their head and, you know, say, Jesus, take care of them. And I, if it's good for Jesus, it's good for us. Uh, so they brought Jesus <laughs> frankincense, so we need it too. Um, but it really helps to calm you down. And it's really great for when you're praying or you're reading your Bible, meditating, whatever. But it's super grounding. So when you just feel like you can't process or deal with anything, I love to grab frankincense. Whether you put it on your hands and smell it in deep, whether you take it, run it through your hair. Um, like I said, I think it's amazing for your skin. So I just throw a drop on my skin. I don't use anything. Um, I'm pretty good with almost any essential oil. So you can always spot test it on yourself if you have more sensitive skin. But it is super gentle. And like I said, I love blessing the babies with them when they're first born. Plus, it's super supportive of your immune system. And when everybody wants to come hold on your baby and kiss on your baby, you need to use frankincense. Um, the next oil is Panaway. So this is a good oil for any kind of pain in the body. So if you sleep wrong, if you um, before and after you work out, you know, if you're doing that, I'm not doing that right now, but if you work it out, this is a great one to grab before and after any kind of muscle soreness. Um, I also like to mention this one too has the safety lid on it because it has wintergreen in it, but it also has helichrysum and helichrysum is a very valuable oil. It's kind of like your um, liquid band-aids. Um, so I've never actually used this on an open wound, but it is really good for circulation in the body and it's oops, really good for any kind of pain. So pan away, pain away, whatever you want to, however you want to correlate it, but great for before and after workouts, great for that, you know, lower back, stiff muscles and things along those lines. Peace and calming. This is a great oil to diffuse in the kids' room. It is super 
strong has like a very strong smell so I only need one maybe two drops at night but this is what we typically diffuse at night when the kids go to bed it's just gonna help them to calm down um, and kind of get restful and that's um, works for pets too so if you have pets at like if you fire trucks sirens uh, I know 4th of July parades, things like that, they get super anxious. Traveling in a car, you can just grab a drop of um, Peace and Calming, put it in your hands and rub it right down their spine. Always introduce, just like you're going to do with like a baby and stuff, kind of put it on yourself maybe a little bit first. Let the baby smell it. Uh, babies, you can put it on the bottoms of their feet. Dogs, you can put it on their pads. Um, but this one's really good if you just need your if you have a really hyperactive dog This is a good one to grab because it helps them calm down But it does exactly what it says peace and calming so a lot of people love this one in a roll-on um, They bring it with them For themselves or their kids you name it either way. It's gonna peace and calm you down uh, And the last one is stress away. So Doctors say that 95% of disease and illness is caused by stress. Stress affects our bodies in a plethora of ways. And so one thing is to find a way to de-stress. So Dr. Ollie actually carries stress away. He used to be an oncologist. And now he teaches about natural ways to do things. He was actually Dr. Um, Young's, Dr. Gary Young's physician at the very end before he passed away. Anyway, um, stress away is something he keeps in our pockets. Just because we are such a driven society on, you know, or driven society, but we're so busy. We're going in 800 directions and all the things that are stressing us, getting, stressing us out, getting kids places, getting to our jobs on time, getting bills paid, all of that. Stress away is an amazing oil. It is the only essential oil blend that contains vanilla extract. So it's very calming with the vanilla as well. Um, this also comes in a roll on. But when you get your kit, you actually get two roller fitments with it. So there are these little roller tops that you can pop right onto your bottle and you can roll it on. So a lot of people choose to use Stress Away. Um, some use Valor or Pan Away, depending upon what you're looking to help with in your life. Whether it's a pain or discomfort or um, just finding a way to deal with the day in and day out of daily life. A couple of other things you get is like a Thieves Hand Sanitizer. I know if you've watched the news, you've seen how toxic some of the hand sanitizers are. This one is not. It's safe enough you can eat it. It actually works as a deodorant if you're in a pinch and you forgot to put it on. I actually have it on my keychain for that reason. I mean, the kids need to wash, wash their hands from time to time, but it does work as a deodorant. You get a little um, hand sanitizer in there. Then you get a Thieves Spray. They actually used to have a Thieves Cleaner in there like this, but some of the packets were leaking, so they went to the spray. The spray is really nice because you can spray your hands down with it, which is what I like to do. Um, you can also spray your carts, your toilet seats. Um, if you're eating at a restaurant, you don't know who was there last, you can spray it on your table. So it's just a way to use Thieves to clean surfaces when you're on the go. Um, so that's another thing you get in there. And then last but not least is our Ninja Red. So Ninja Red is full of antioxidants. And antioxidants protect your body from free radicals. And free radicals kind of break away our body and cause us to get sick. And so it's important, you hear it all the time, that we eat a diet high in antioxidants. Eat your blueberries, they say, because blueberries are high in antioxidants. Get your goji berries. This is actually made with a sister to the goji berry, which is the Ningxia wolfberry. And it's grown in the Ningxia province in China. And what they found there is that the, the population there actually lives to be like 120 to 100. And, 30 years old or whatnot because it's so high in mineral content and the goji bear or the wolf berries are part of their daily diet. And so a lot of times we have so many mineral and vitamin deficiencies and this is kind of something that will fill in those gaps. So this is a supplement. It's a juice. It's one of the first things um, I was just talking today about how this is the juice my kids drink. We don't really have juice in our house. I know I'm that mom. But um, in their sippy cups, I'll give them like an ounce of Ninja Red and I'll water it down. Um, put a little ice in there and that's what they think is juice. Um, but this, what happened with us is one year, um, I think we had six kids at the time. We actually got diagnosed with uh, influenza A. And uh, the nurse had come in and said that they had an option. We could take Tamiflu. And I, I had never heard of it. So I said, can I get some information on it? So she came in with the information sheet. And I was like, yeah. Um, I think we've got something at home we can use that would be better than Tamiflu. So I decided 
that we were gonna go home and we we're gonna thieves everything up because we were using oils. I was gonna be using my aconite, my belladonna from my homeopathy. And I had a sacred bottle because it comes in a 25 ounce wine looking bottle in the back of the fridge that we only drank because it was super expensive in my mind. And so we pulled it out and the kids started taking shots of it. And um, we also had other family members that had gotten sick at the same time. And they were sick for, I think it was like seven or 10 days. Our whole family got through it in three days. That was the moment I'm like, I don't care what it costs. We are gonna keep this in our house at all times. So we started drinking it um, just an ounce a day or half an ounce for the kids. And then I, I <laughs> my husband, the first time he tried it was like, gives me this face. Um, it's not, it does not have sugar in it. So it's not super sweet. But the thing is, it is actually pureed the entire Wolfberry is pureed in here, so you're getting the whole food, not just the juice of it. And so you shake up the bottle, but it has been a game changer. My husband's energy levels are better. Um, and like the kids, we stay really, really healthy for a family of 10. And uh, like I said, if somebody starts feeling icky or feeling sick, then we just double up. We're like, take another shot of Ninja Red. We'll add oils to it. The kids get to pick. They want to put orange thieves. What do they want to add to it today? So. So that's just one of the other things they have. The other thing with, so when you get started with Young Living, you get all those oils, you get your diffuser, so you're all set to go. And what I tell people is typically if you're trying to start to ditch and switch and live a healthier lifestyle, you're going to want to join Essential Rewards because Essential Rewards is your monthly wellness box shipped to your door. Um, and honestly, I wait every month. Like the first of the month, I am itching to get it. So you get a catalog with you. There's over 600 products. It has shampoo. It has makeup. It has supplements. If you're looking for vitamin Bs, uh, or vi you know like vitamin C, vitamin B, any of those things. It has wipes. It has the baby wash. It has all of the thieves lines. So whether you're looking for a fruit and veggie spray, it is all in here. And so I always tell people start it one step at a time. The number one thing I usually tell people to get oops switched out first is their cleaners because we use cleaners every day. So that would be like your thieves household cleaner and your laundry soap. I never thought of it till somebody had said, the, the first thing I tell people is to get rid of their laundry soap because they're wearing the clothes that their laundry soap has been in. If they use fragrance in there, it's off gassing on them all day on their skin. It's off gassing in their bed with their sheets. It's off gassing from their closet and they are surrounded by it. I'm like, huh, that makes a lot of sense. So typically when I see people um, trying to live a healthier lifestyle, it's usually the thieves laundry soap and then the, the household cleaner so that they can ditch the, you know, 10 different items they have under their sink now for one because you can literally clean everything with thieves. And then depending upon what their goals are, if it's, you know, supplementing as far as vitamins, that's another area to look. But if it's getting your bathroom cleaned up, getting your shampoos, your conditioners, your toothpaste, um, your makeup, whatever it may be, there's ways to do that as well. So you get all of this. It's a $412 value. You get it for $165 and it's a lifetime membership with Young Living. Um, as long as you order $50 every calendar year, your membership stays active. And most people, like I said, once you start using some of the product, like for us, Ninja Red is on our order every single month. And we go through a lot of citrus oils because we like to add them to our water. It's something to change up the flavor. But that's kind of the lowdown of what you get with your premium starter kit. Kind of the basics of using them and the many ways that you can use them. So if you have any questions, you can definitely post below, private message me, whatever, um, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, like I said, best way to get started, I will put a link in there. If you are interested in grabbing your starter kit, you can just click on the link and um, you will get it to your door. I highly recommend, like I said, getting your on essential rewards because you start earning rewards points back from what month one, you earn 10% back initially. Then after three months, you earn 20% back of whatever you spend. And we've actually been on essential rewards for eight and a half years. So we get 25% back and um, it's a huge money saver for us because we're able to cut out. Now that I have things like Instacart, I order my groceries on my phone. I order like all of our supplements and our household stuff from Young Living. Like I feel like I don't need to go to the store and that's less stress for me. So I'm all about it. But hope you learned a little something. If you have questions, um, 
ask away. Thanks for joining, Sharon. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, have a great rest of your Tuesday night and we will talk to you later. Bye.